Bet I can figure out why you bite your nails. A few reasons in mind. She goes half. Chewed on nails means you're recycling your body material. It's an intense dedication to the, the way of business. No riches without personal sacrifice. I work hard. Either way, another ace deduction by the number one detective in town. It was okay, sir. There's more that could be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. Think? Fine. Do better. Do something about me. You're quite sober. She snaps back the quickly. The does not flinch. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. Wait, how do you know I'm usually not? Um, Fritz, maybe? Alpha is not good for you, sir. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. There's something you're missing. What are you missing here? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help Mum keep this place running. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is beautiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. But it's snowing. There's stress and unease behind these words. She's reciting. Mum says it's going? peachy. She was a little afraid at first. This talk about this house being her. Hers in a way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I think curses are real. This sounds rather serious. I should probably. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into. Yeah! These do also look at our wares inside. Postcards and board games are there, sir. Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. You know about the other fair. How does this curse manifest itself? It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about different types of food. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Um, let's try. You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? You must. This Postnova Atelier mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffiti. A closer inspection reveals a faint sticker on the side. RCM Emergency Desk number 8102 with a slogan, Mankind, be vigilant. Fuck you, mail delivery box. Ow. There is a hollow, saddened ring as you kick the Levantorier mail collection box. It sounds betrayed, in disbelief even. Your toe has suffered damage. It hurts. Cool. You're really shocked sure that mail collection box. He does not actually think it's cool. If anything, the lieutenant feels sorry for the poor boys. He's leaning in to inspect the layers of profita on the face. Oh, you're being sarcastic, I get it. It was actually a dick move. The lieutenant pats the box ever so slightly. Man mutters to himself, accenting the beats as he goes. Simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Which is intense. Hit him. The jam, my man. Motions towards the sprawl of lorries. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oil. Every man was an other byproduct of the modern era. You could almost taste it. 
What's the jam? Traffic jam for the age. Our brigades up the street is shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike. Gabs agitating. All around plus the fuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo. Days upon days upon days. Plants is south. Down the road. Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and the soup. Kind of romantic. Is an antiquated term for every few words. This man has a very suppressed perform in the street. Or he just likes unusual words. Do your style, man. Yeah. Imagine. It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Um, head to spare some change for a working staff. Tell me more about the strike. Know anything about the dead man, the one hanging behind the hostel? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accountable. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. Ask for his conclusion. A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Tell me more about this strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the dock, workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. Going on strike would probably help the dodge too. Yeah, I should go on strike. Some pretty wild stuff I hear. Like a giant new power crane and half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town too. Like a strike negotiated type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah yes. From the white line. We'll meet her soon enough. Maybe you should. Cops don't get paid much in the hours alone. Plus, you can get shot. Why not? The RCM is a self-managing organization that operates on donations. We promote our own leaders. It would be like striking against your own mother. I don't know my mother, but I'd go and strike against her too for my rights. <coughs> okay. But do continue. You were asking about the strike? What do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Ching. <coughs> he doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else I should Anything know? Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. All us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off to Get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame him, really. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. That's it down the road towards the horizon. Let have something he tries else. his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him. As if trying to conceal something warm. Very low. Ease into it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal thing. I'm okay, man. Just... The jams got me down. The fumes, the chemical rainbows, the tarpaulin stretched on the frames and the dull engines off. The seeds into his days of words. Oh no. high-grade narcotic, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Okay, I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Valve runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped abroad in the office. So we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. And nothing illegal then. That's your machine behind you. This rock and beauty. 
Sure is. The Koresh can't get rid of it. And most of them are also called a camion on Kayu at the neighboring islands. This one looks rough enough to be some sort of found rust. Maybe the A6. I found A6 you got there. Good item, man. Yup, she's an old, but we're alive. Me and her spent a long time together. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Don't be a stranger. Keep your fingers to leap. There's something to ask what's his face was in there. Guess I've had a report from Sylvie. Here's all your health and morale. I do enjoy sleeping. Sleeping is one of the Sort of a thing at the. Wait, what? But what about the bird? Yes, yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing in the morning she left. She didn't break it, I did. Very against the wall. Why can't she just tell me that? I don't care about stuff first. I care about my employee. Stumbles with words, shaking oh. his head. Did she say anything else about me? Anything about me. She said she was flattered. It was just bad timing. The power vertical here. Really? I, I should I should give her a call then. Man doesn't know what to say. He wipes his brow and stares nice. at the gun. Yes. Is there anything else you wanted at all? We were sort of hoping that we'd be a gun, an expensive jewel, or at least a sword in it for you, if you deliver the message. Oh. Um. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Found the victim's How clothes. strange. I certainly didn't look there. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. Someone on your staff had put them there. The crash collection service? CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash. Ah, the elusive yes, I doubt we'll be able to track down who I sent here last in my life. This will have to be one of those little traps that sold itself down the road. Thank you, anyway. Uh, someone on your staff. Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Yes. Another thing. Great. I love those. Yes. This is a drying this smell of chemicals and pine trees. Yes. I wanna talk about you. Nothing for now. Rest of the alcohol and tomatoes hangs in the air. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust bullet, occasionally sipping from his mouth. This must be the whirling screen. Yeah, As it must you be. Step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words he can make out are Baranzi and Kuhan. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him. I say I got time for a few questions. Puts his cup down and replies something. His left hand drawing marks in the air. You got some impressive he smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. You do? 
What's the door in the back of the kitchen? Why do you care where you eat? The witch. Outside. In the backyard. Remember? No. Your fingers do. Hmm. Well, if there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. It's hardly a side investigation. You already have a name for it. There is a mega investigation. I'm putting it behind the play door. It's hardly worth it either. Anyway, God is the person to ask for this. The cafeteria manager. The door does not budge. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted. It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever is behind it must be older. Must be older. I found something else. I found something else. There's a mysterious I blue steel door in the back oh of the kitchen. Yes, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Do you know what's behind it? Do you have? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering for ten years. It's just a frit warehouse. Frit. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk. Ah. 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 attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not. I think you'd like to know what's back there. Fine, okay, little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over. Not for the animal. I haven't found the key, so good luck. Yes. Oh, do I have a skill point? Um for damages, who put the clothes in the trash, who made the call reporting the crime, price lost ball. Thought I've worked that out. Yes, here, yeah, maybe if you find out the caller. It takes some time, it's probably the whirling secret of passage. Some of that rug stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling and rare. This is point A. The driver started there, and then accelerated straight into the fence, left the hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building, before heading south. Drive through the fence. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jail right here on the roundabout, I would keep them separate. You could follow the track south. This seems to be a canal. See where they went. If you find the time. You are correct. 
this is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten tonight. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Yeah, there That's is. There it is. You see a shepherd. Better than one and two. What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Wonder if there's any alcohol. I need alcohol. As an alcoholic. Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying. You. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drugs. Professionally, I mean. Perhaps not. This is below our big way to take you. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial hovel, no? The secret path the local kid used. <laughs> 